We're in the traveling family. And on this episode of Great Family Adventure, we're road tripping from home sweet home, Rock Island, Tennessee, to beautiful Fayetteville, West Virginia. This is fun. Can we touch the clouds? Try and try, try touch it. He's coming all the way to say hi. Whoa. Finally, we're ready to rock. We're living on the road for months at a time, so there's nothing like being home. There's something fantastic about having your bath, your laundry, and just being that close to my family. It's a home base for us to get regrouped, re-energized, and ready to hit the road again. When we're home, some of the kids' favorite activities are running up the field to visit either my grandmother or their grandparents. So, you know, family time is fun for them. They enjoy having all their Legos. You know, Tucker has some special Legos that are built out on the shelf that he doesn't take on the road in case they get broken. But a really big one for them that we obviously can't take with us is the trampoline. We've got plenty of games that we play out there, but it's really just fun times for dad to hang out with the kids and get everybody outdoors. Oh, I got you, I got you! <laughs> Steamroller! My role at Jackson Kayak is I'm the marketing director. On top of that, I'm also brand manager for the Whitewater side. The Jackson Kayak factory is only 10 minutes down the road. So for me, when I'm home, it's an opportunity to connect with a lot of our other employees that work here full time. So pretty neat, we just got to stumble in and catch them popping a bite out of the mold. So it's been cooking in the oven, they pulled it over, waited for it to cool off, open up, and we've got a brand new kayak. When we're home, kayaking doesn't slow down. We are literally less than a mile from Twin Falls, which is one of the most beautiful places that you can visit in all of Tennessee. And it's really a great place to just embrace being in the outdoors. We actually took the kids down to the river, Tucker playing with sticks, rocks, Parker, because she can be a little bit bolder when it comes to cold water. She decided she wanted to get into the river, hold on to my boat, and just play along. So it was really fun to see the kids interacting. Even when they don't want to go kayaking and Nick and I are enjoying kayaking together, they find their own ways to engage. Like if they don't want to go kayaking, that's totally fine. They're going to play with rocks, they're going to play with sticks, they're going to jump in the water and they get to see their parents doing something they really love. So for me, it's really important that even if they don't want to do the sport, that they still come and join that family time outside. So we like to call home kind of a compound because on the same 20 acres, we have my house, we have my grandmother's house, and then we have my parents' house. Everybody's just really close and it makes just for awesome quality family time together. I would definitely describe my parents' house as being really fun. It is full of games from top to bottom, so the kids get really excited about going up there. Not to mention, almost every time we gather at my parents' house, there's someone else joining us, just because why not come have fun at the Jacksons? I feel so fortunate that under the same roof, we can have four generations of women just sitting down, hanging out together, and just enjoying each other's company. Not very many people get to say that, so I feel very blessed when those opportunities do come up, and I don't take them for granted. So it is our last morning here at home before we hit the road for the next seven, eight months. There you go, there you go, perfect. That was a perfect one. Our last day at home can be very overwhelming because transitioning from having this much space in my house into a smaller trailer, it's challenging. Packing for being on the road is definitely uh, an experience in the sense that we bring probably way too much stuff and it's always like trying to pack less. For the kids, they want to bring all their toys and it's usually mom or dad Mainly dad trying to like limit the amount of toys that they bring with them. Can I please come on the road trip? Yeah, please. 
When it comes to packing, generally what I do is I get everything onto my front porch, load everything into the trailer, and then as I start to put things away, I'll recognize this cabinet is designated for the specific items. And if they don't fit in there with enough space for us to really utilize, then it has to come back out. In general, you always need way less than you think we do. That's probably the biggest thing that I have to remind myself. I think I'm finally ready to lock this thing up and hit the road. Say bye to the house. Bye. See you later, home. Finally, we're ready to rock. All right, let's rock and roll. Getting back on the road can feel, um, for me, a little bit anxiety at first. You know, it's like, okay, we're doing it. We're hitting the road. There's no looking back. But at the same time, it's also very liberating, just that freedom of being out on the open road. Our first stop on the road trip was Zoo Knoxville. How's it going? Hey, I'm Phil Cockliffe. I'm director of animal care here at Zoo Knoxville. Awesome, Emily. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you guys. Who's yeah. this? Tucker and you Parker. So <laughs> I'm so glad you guys are here. This is going to be a really cool day. Um, we're going to show you some awesome animals. Let's go check it out. Good deal. Awesome. Look, we're, I think we're right beside the river otters. Let's go check out the river otters. At the zoo, the kids got to interact with a ton of different animals. Parker seemed really interested in the river otters, which is really special because most of those river otters are local to Tennessee. So she got to see up close what river otters are really like. Oh, he's coming. He's coming all the way to say hi. Whoa. How's it going? Good. My name is Sarah. I am the curator over this area with red pandas. One of the coolest things about checking out the zoo in Knoxville was getting to feed the red pandas. It's a pretty unique environment to get to feed them, but also uh, Knoxville has just a great environment for them, so they seem to flourish. I think they they birth like more red pandas than most places in the world. We're saving animals from extinction. I mean, that's what we do. We're a conservation organization that um, is working to keep animals in the places that they're supposed to be. As far as Tucker's favorite animal, it seemed like Tucker was really into the gorillas. The gorillas were entertaining and they were really interactive. So Tucker got to see them kind of play like a kid would. So the kids seemed really engaged from start to finish at the zoo. We got to see all sorts of animals today, but highlight is this Malayan tiger right here. So pretty neat, super endangered. The kids are grateful for the opportunity to check this beautiful cat out. One thing that I try really hard to do when we're going on road trips is look for random attractions that we can check out along the way. So that way the kids don't feel like they're just sitting in the car for the majority of the day, which actually led us to Big Walker Lookout in Virginia. The Big Walker Lookout was a 100 foot tower overlooking the rolling mountains of Virginia. The kids and I were looking at it, wondering how rickety this thing might be, but uh, it was actually pretty stable and it totally worked out great. And once we were at the very top, it was really windy and felt a little bit wobbly. I think maybe my fear of heights kicked in more than the kids, but it was really cool and just a gorgeous view over the whole valley side. Man, I'm a little scared. It's probably a bad time to say that I'm afraid of heights, huh, Parker? Uh, are you afraid of heights? Hi. It's pretty high. Look at the view though. I think we can almost touch the clouds. We can almost touch the clouds? The clouds. Let's see if we can grab them. Can we touch the clouds? Try try, try and touch it. Can you yeah. touch it?
think everybody was pretty stoked to arrive in Fayetteville after a long drive. Uh, Emily and I have spent a lot of time here. They've got some incredible rivers. And so a little bit of homecoming, but uh, everybody was just excited to finally settle down in camp and call it for a night after a long day on the road. So the plan for tomorrow is Tucker and I are gonna go check out the bridge walk, something I've never done before. And then Parker and Nick are gonna go kayaking right below us. So while we're up really high on the bridge, they're gonna be down below in the river. So I'm pretty excited to check that out. The New River Gorge Bridge is 876 feet above the river. So I'm pretty curious how it's gonna work with Tucker and maybe a little bit of a fear of heights, though maybe it's just my fear of heights that I'm thinking of. So we'll see how Tucker deals with the bridge walk. Are you nervous? Yes. <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> yes, no, maybe a little bit. This is easy, tiny bit. One of the reasons I'm unsure if Tucker is going to enjoy the bridge walk or not is just because he's been a little timid when it comes to heights in the past. So, or sometimes when he's just, he knows that none of us have done it and we can't really tell him what it's going to feel like or seem like, you know, he can be like, hold up, what are we doing? I'm not sure this is something I want to do. So he tends to be timid at first before he fully commits to doing something. How much metal? 44 million pounds of steel. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Plus, that was a good see question. the concrete? There's 44 million pounds of concrete. Wow. So if you have 44 million pounds of steel, 44 million pounds of concrete, how many pounds of pure bridge is that? Uh, I don't 88 know. 88 pounds. 88 million. Million. Eight million. Pounds. Yeah, million. How wild is that? This is my very first time doing the infamous bridge walk. It's a good thing I'm not afraid of heights, but Tucker is killing it. I'm so proud of him. How you doing, bud? Have you looked down yet? I know that. Oh, it's not that bad. This is not bad. Not too bad? Yeah, this is not that bad. This is fun. Actually? Uh -huh. I was really proud of how Tucker did on the bridge walk and overcoming his fear heights because I would have been afraid up there for sure. One thing that was really cool is while we were crossing the bridge, Tucker and I could look down and actually see Nick and Parker kayaking on the new river. What do you think, Parker? Is that a big bridge? Yeah. Yeah? Down over there, not there. That's not a bridge. Well, that's a bridge too, but that's the big one behind us, yeah. Fayetteville is self-proclaimed the coolest small town in America. And I'd probably have to agree, it's a pretty cool small town. It's actually bordering the New River Gorge, which is the latest national park here in America. And it really just has got this cool vibe as there's all these local shops, you've got kayak shops, climbing, world-class activities, and pretty much anything for getting out and about in the outdoors. We love biking. It's one of our favorite ways to explore a new town when we visit it. It just slows everything down so we really get to see what these small towns are all about. We hopped on the bikes to check out the sights and sounds of Fayetteville, West Virginia on our way to the Pies and Pints for some pizza for lunch. One of the benefits of biking when we're around town is that we get to see everything that the town has to offer. So Fayetteville, you know, springtime had a ton of beautiful flowers. We got to see the courthouse, some pretty murals.
and there was a ton of restaurants to choose from. So for us, we're definitely gonna have to come back and check out all the shops and all the restaurants that the little town has to offer. Pies and Pints is probably one of our most favorite pizza joints in all of America. It's got a really cool vibe, some unique pizzas, and just simply delicious food. So it is pretty early, everybody's still asleep, but dad's getting ready for our hike today. So trying to get everything ready. Starting off with some coffee this morning. It's a bit of a debate, which is better, the pour over coffee or the French press? I don't know, they're both pretty good. Hiking is simply one of our favorite family activities. One of the benefits of hiking is just getting outside. You know, a lot of times we'll set a destination, a goal to get to, but just remembering that the whole point is just to be outside and enjoy time with your family means that we get to walk really slow. We get to learn about different things. You know, the kids were checking out different mosses and mushrooms and plants, and they got to see acorns. And so for us, it's super educational, but it's also just a reminder of how beautiful it is to spend time outside with your family. Anytime we're in the outdoors, we try to make it as much of a learning experience as we can. So talking about the different plants or bugs or trees, really anything that kind of comes about on our hikes or walks or paddles, really we just try to inform the kids as much as we can when we're in the outdoors. Parker, check this out, look. Don't they look like little aliens popping out? What are they? I don't know. Do you think it's this tree here? No. You don't think so? Should we look it up when we get home? Yeah. All right, let's keep walking. Is that the tiniest little baby tree you've ever seen? Yeah. Isn't it so cute? It's so cute, little baby tree. Can we bring it to you? No. Can we need to let it. It's just a baby. Hey, Delphox! Don't trip! Can you fit right into this little Delphox cave? <laughs> when we know that we're gonna be out hiking for a little while, I like to pack a picnic. I mean, the kids are so used to having the trailer, so we do activities, come back, but there is something special about enjoying a meal together out on a picnic blanket. We made it to Diamond Point Overlook, and it was a perfect spot for our picnic. We got the blanket out, took the stove, warmed up our chili, and really just got to soak in the views overlooking the river. We're over here at the Diamond Point Overlook on the Endless Trail, and it's a little nippy, but the good news is we brought fire, we brought food, we're eating some chili. It's the perfect food for this temperature and for this adventure, so we're refueling so we can keep hiking. All right, in the Troutman household, we have a rule, no cutting into trees. Why, Parker? Because it cuts. <laughs> It hurts the tree. It hurts the tree, yeah, it hurts the tree, so we don't do that. What do we like to do to trees instead? Hug them. We like to hug them? Yes. Like right now. Yep, that's what we like to do. And we like to say nice things to them. Say one nice thing to the tree and we'll keep hiking. I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you too. Bye, Get Samantha. It. Oh, we've officially, ah! we've named the tree. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just stoked to be back on the road traveling and exploring with the family. Being back on the road with my family is definitely my happy place. And often I wake up and I think, is this a dream or is this real? I feel so lucky to be out here living our dream life.